What's popping everybody? Welcome back to JC, aka the person most in need of a haircut. Yo, look at this. I haven't cut my hair in literally like like three months almost because of quarantine. But anyways, guys, stay safe and continue being socially distant. Anyways, I'm getting a little bit sidetracked. Today, I'm going to be talking about the top five things I learned in first year engineering. I purposefully didn't like ask my friends what they learned or I didn't watch other people's videos because I wanted my top five points to be from me, from my personal experience with Western engineering, Western first year. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. So if any of you guys are thinking of going into Western engineering, I would definitely say go for it. It's nothing to be afraid of. Everyone is super friendly. But the first thing I learned in first year Western engineering is that engineering is not that scary. The jump from high school to university is not as big of a jump as you might expect. Of course, a lot of this is based on your overall work ethic, but if you made it into Western University, then you're already probably a pretty gifted student. A number of subjects were a review of high school, plus like a little bit extra, but it wasn't as big as what people described it to be when I was still in high school. The second thing that I learned is that it is so important to make friends in university because having a friend that always has your back, someone to support you through like tougher times, having someone to walk with you to class, and even having someone to study with, it is so nice to have. Let's say you're stuck on like homework, for example, and you really need help. You can always ask your friends, and maybe if they don't know, then they can ask their friends. So definitely, if you make more friends in university, it is definitely gonna benefit you in the long run because there are people there to support you and help you with whatever you need. And the third thing that I learned, it's not really like engineering related, but it is still like university related. And that is learning how to be independent and being able to take care of yourself. Like university doesn't just train your like mental skills. It helps you learn to be independent and take good care of yourself. Like cooking breakfast, lunch, dinner, washing the dishes, stuff like that. Like all of these things are something that we like kind of take for granted. Your parents might be like, hey, buddy, you want a sandwich? And you might be like, hell yeah. But like now no one's gonna do that for you. You have to like ask yourself. I remember when I lived at Res, I lived at Elgin Hall. I really missed my dishwasher and I had to like hand wash all of my dishes. I know that's such a small thing, but it's something that you really like take for granted. The fourth thing that I learned in Western engineering is that if you fail a test, an assignment, a quiz, an exam, it's not the end of the world. Like don't kill yourself just because you got like a fail on one of your tests or assignments. Like there are always room for improvement and there's always opportunity for you to bounce back and grind your marks back up. So please don't put so much pressure on yourself if you do get back an assignment and you're not really happy about the mark. Because university is what I describe as kind of like a roller coaster. There are ups and there are downs. Sometimes you might hit a low point, but sometimes you might hit a high point. And when you're at that high point, it's a really good feeling. And this kind of leads on to my fifth point, which is that, yeah, studying is important, but you have to make sure you also focus on your mental health as well. Yes, it is really important that you study hard so that you can get into the engineering subsection that you want to go into. You definitely have to reserve some time for yourself to relax, take a little breather, hang out with your friends, because university is kind of like a balancing scale. If you have too much relaxing time, then this might affect your grades unless you're like a genius or something. So if you find that balance right in between, you get those good marks, plus you focus on your mental health, that's like the sweet spot. So yeah, definitely see if you can join some clubs so you can have a little fun. So for me, I personally joined Western Climbing Club because I really like rock climbing. If you wanna check out Western Rock Climbing Club, then click the I in the top right corner of the screen. If you're feeling a little overwhelmed because school is like maybe getting a little bit too hard, then definitely don't be afraid to talk to your friends. Don't be afraid to talk to your prof or counseling because they can really help you. And then a bonus sixth point, like I would say that sometimes maybe studying too much might be a little overwhelming because you need to get those marks. You want to get into the discipline that you want to go into. And when you're overwhelmed, it sometimes might be kind of hard to find the motivation to study. When that happens to me, I personally just take a step back, take a little breather, and then I think to myself, I remind myself like the reason why I want to be in engineering. Take a step back 
and kind of remind yourself the reason why you're in engineering. You might be in engineering because you are really passionate about it. You might be in engineering because the engineering market is always growing and there's a lot of job opportunities. Or maybe you're an engineer so that you can think outside the box and create a product that can really revolutionize the world we live in. So yeah, when you feel overwhelmed, definitely take a step back, take a little breather and just reflect on why you're in engineering. You made it into Western engineering for a reason. Anyways, I think those are my top five things I learned in Western first year engineering. If I missed any points or if you wanna discuss this further, then definitely comment down in the comment section below and continue the discussion. And if you're new to JC, then definitely click that subscribe button and click the little bell beside the subscribe button so that you're not gonna miss out on any new future posts. Smash this video if you liked it. Smash this video. Smash the like button if you liked this video. If you wanna check out my other Western videos, I have a playlist linked above right there. Anyways guys, this is Jason signing out of JCD and I will see you guys in the very next video. Peace.